Deuteronomy chapter 8. All the mitzvot I am giving you today, you are to take care to obey, so that you will live, increase your numbers, enter and take possession of the land Adonai swore about to your ancestors. You are to remember everything of the way in which Adonai led you these forty years in the desert, humbling and testing you in order to know what was in your heart, whether you would obey his mitzvot, commandments, or not. He humbled you, allowing you to become hungry, and then fed you with man, which neither you nor your ancestors had ever known, to make you understand that a person does not live on food alone, but on everything that comes from the mouth of Adonai. During these forty years, the clothing you were wearing didn't grow old, and your feet didn't swell up. Think deeply about it. Adonai was disciplining you, just as a man disciplines his child. So obey the mitzvot of Adonai your God, living as he directs and fearing him. For Adonai your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with streams, springs, and water, walling up from the depths and valleys and on hillsides. It is a land of wheat and barley, grapevines, fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land where you will eat food in abundance and lack nothing in it, a land where the stones contain iron and the hills can be mined for copper. So you will eat and be satisfied, and you will bless Adonai your God for the good land he has given you. Be careful not to forget Adonai your God by not obeying his moot's vote. Rulings and regulations that I am giving you today. Otherwise, after you have eaten and are satisfied, built fine houses and lived in them, and increased your herds, flocks, silver, gold, and everything else you own, you will become proud-hearted, forgetting about Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, where you lived as slaves, who led you through the vast and fearsome desert, with its poisonous snakes, scorpions, and waterless, thirty, thirsty ground, who brought water out of flint rock for you, who fed you in the desert with man, unknown to your ancestors, all the while humbling and testing you, in order to do you good in the end. You will think to yourself, my own power and the strength of my own hand have gotten me this well. No, you are to remember Adonai your God, because it is he who is giving you the power to get wealth in order to confirm this covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as is happening even today. If you forget Adonai your God, follow other gods and serve and worship them, I am warning you in advance today that you will certainly perish. You will perish just like the nations that Adonai is causing to perish ahead of you, because you will not have heeded the voice of Adonai your God.